All right, everyone, welcome back to a new customization video. Today we're doing the Pagasi Ignis. It's not on sale this week, however, I kind of just want to do it. It looks really awesome and I've always kind of wanted to customize one of these. So here we go. Oh, it sounds very nice. Based off the Lamborghini Cyan or Cyan in real life, I think. Definitely some other inspiration from other vehicles, other Lamborghinis as well. But yeah, let's get right into it. Now I do know there's a weaponized version of this. I think it's available on Warstock only on next gen consoles with the expanded and enhanced version of the game. Hope we get that pretty soon on PC, but here we go. We got some bumpers to do. Carbon one, arc bumper, secondary carbon street. Racer, speed bumper, aero bumper. That looks pretty cool. And back to stock. I think we'll definitely do the aero bumper. Aero mark two probably goes up a little more. I will definitely come back to see if we need the secondary or the primary. Probably the primary though. Onto the rear ones. These are pretty, pretty cool. I like this track diffuser. I feel like that's like supposed to be like a brake light kind of thing. It's not an exhaust, although it kind of looks like it would be. Maybe we won't do that one. Same with this thing. Stinger diffuser. It looks good. I think we'll go with the GT one. That looks lots of lines on that one. Fits this car pretty well, I think. Engine upgrade that. The exhaust. Here we go. Got secondary, titanium, angled. Oh, okay. So that kind of slants down like that. That's nice. Oval and performance. Definitely like that angled one. The titanium might look pretty good too. Just add a bit of color back there. Onto the hoods. Got the racer hood. Carbon one. Speed hood. Vented hood. GT hood. Oh, XL vented hood. Performance. Oh, so that just adds some like, I don't know. What's the difference? Weird. Okay. Anyway, I think... I think I like this one the most, the GT hood. It's not too obnoxious. This one could also look good, the XL vented one. I don't know, I think this one looks pretty, pretty sleek though. We will skip the horn, but onto the lights, we'll do some xenon lights. Probably a neon. I think so. We'll wait for the color though. Onto the livery, we get some white stripes. Black stripes, stripes. Oh, uh, here, let's change the color to a gray. Dark steel, now we can see most things, I bet. White stripes, oh, okay. Two white stripes on the side. Black stripes down the middle, that looks really cool. Triple stripes, arrow stripe with some blue and red. Yellow flares, blue flares. Viper green. Mmm, that could look pretty cool. Piss wasser. That looks good as well. I don't see any stupid logo on the side either. I might do that. Speed stripes. Exorboro. That's it. All right. Well, I definitely like this one. I bet a darker gray could go really well with this. This could be good. It's a little basic in my opinion. So maybe we'll do something else. I did like this though. I wonder if we can get some really nice plate. Maybe we'll change that after. Louvers. Oh, okay. Oh. Probably gonna go with that one. That looks good. Pinta GT. It's a little slanted. Ooh. I might provide some armor protection as well. Is that or this? Probably. I think we'll do the split ones. Yeah. So onto this. We'll check out the crew color. Oh, it's kind of nice. It's a nice lavender, but it doesn't go with the livery too well. Black could be pretty cool. Maybe like a diamond blue. Salmon pink. I don't know. You no, know, I think I might want to go with black. Carbon black. Change the livery. I kind of want to do something with maybe some yellow accents. This viper green could look really nice as well. Maybe. I do want to. I want to do this one. Yeah. Black stripes. And I think we'll do some yellow stuff to match that. So we did the respray. Oh, we didn't do the secondary color. This is oh, on the sides. Oh, nice. This will look really cool in yellow then. Bright orange. Race yellow. Race yellow or regular yellow? I think it's a race. That's the closer one. Oh, and it goes with the skirts really nice. Oh man, this is looking good. GT skirts. Carbon GT, which is ironic because there's less carbon than there. Got some more flat ones. Kind of a double one there. That's neat. Minimal. Okay, and that's it. Not sure if I like the front one there. The flat ones are kind of nice. Kind of like that minimal arrow though. The stock ones do look a little kind of good though. It's got a little bump here. Maybe we'll keep this. I think we will for now. We'll do a final check up a bit later, but onto the spoiler. I feel like this does have an active wing. I haven't taken it for a drive yet though. But let's see. Speed one with a light there too. That's pretty cool. Carbon speed one. Racer. That's kind of nice. I think it's mounted on the side there too. Right here. The cool. GT1. Oh man, that's really low. GT2. Whoa, arrow ones. 
That's kind of crazy. That's it. Okay. I think I thought I was expecting one that could be a little bit bigger, not gonna lie. But not too huge a fan of these ones. Neither of those ones. Probably gonna wanna go with one of these. Speed spoiler. I think that's pretty sick. Lower it. Only can go to street suspension. Transit up. Turbo it up. Wheels. I really like the stock ones. And so I'm gonna try a little thing here. Get some muscle wheels. Classic fives, those are the cheapest. And then I wanna put a race yellow on. And then we go back to high end and go to the stock ones. Do that. And I think we'll definitely tint it. Oh yeah, that's it. Hopefully, actually, let's just bulletproof the wheels too before we leave. Hopefully that doesn't mess it up. But I think that worked correctly. We should get stock colors. We should get yellow on the stock wheels if this works. Oh my God, not again. Okay, and we go back here. That's not my office. What? Why did it bring me here? Aw, oh, man. Oh, and there it is. Look how sick that looks. Oh, yeah. All right, well, let's take it out. Here we go. Oh, we forgot to do the neon color. Whoops. Oh, and we didn't really do the once over yet, so we'll do that as well. Let's check up on the front bumpers. Ah, so we can get a nice bright yellow one. Maybe even this one. Covered with a little bit of yellow. So this one's a little, a little boring with just nothing. I think that could look a little bit better. The rear bumpers, I think I will be happy with this. Yeah, engine, we're good there. Exhaust, titanium. Oh, this one can get yellow tipped ones. We're gonna do that. Livery, I think we're good with this one. That could look cool. I might make a second one of this one. I think that should be it now. Respray. I'm sad we can't do the trim color on the inside. If that could be yellow, that could look extra cool too. But let's take it to the ground now. Cross your fingers, hope it's not lime green. Ah, it's lime green, okay. Well, let's, oh, almost wanna do lime green as a secondary now. That looks cool in Leon. All right, one second. And it's yellow again. Oh man, all right. Well, lesson learned. Trust the names, not the colors. Exit to ground. Let's go. That looks better. All right. Let's do it. We'll drive with it. Turn on the lights. Definitely looks cool. Oh, nice and quick launch as well. This is good. Feels pretty fast for top speed too. Let's see what we're getting. Oh, look out. Hopefully no one crosses. Ah, oh, that was me. I think we could probably get to 140 there. Let's go to the airport. All right, quick top speed test. Let's go. Stay on track. What do we get? Read it right there too. Looks like the needle's ahead by a little bit. One twenty. Oh, we're on the grass. Let's go this way. One nineteen. Is that? Oh, one twenty. Twenty one. Doesn't get much faster than that. A bit faster than 120. Let's let's come on, keep it going. 123. That seems to be about it. Oh well, kind of underwhelming there. It definitely feels slow, like at top speed though, when it starts reaching there. Even though you got an extra gear, which changes pretty late. Kind of sad about that. It's got okay acceleration though. Obviously, I can't get the HSW version because I'm on PC. Hopefully, we'll see that maybe maybe around the summer. Maybe, probably not though. This thing's pretty okay though. Definitely looks good. Had some great customization going for it. It's okay handling too. 2.7 million dollars. Kind of a lot. It's not weaponized either. I feel like there's definitely some other cars that are more worth the price. Like the Krieger, you could definitely get that one if you're into racing. Emirates, even cheaper. Even the AS80, also a good one. It's, it's a cool concept car. You can't really drive the, the Lamborghini Sion anywhere else unless maybe some mods or something, I think. So that's a plus. Doesn't have the greatest performance though. It does have some really nice customization. It wasn't too intricate or anything. But it's a really cool secondary option. If you're on PC, you can change the color of the wheels, stock wheels. Oh, I definitely should have made the plate black and orange. Let's go to the arena workshop. Plate, yellow and black, much better. Lights, headlights. Maybe we'll do some yellow lights as well. That looks awesome. Back outside, boom, that's pretty awesome. 
that's it for the Pegasi Ignis non-weaponized non-HSW version. I'd give it a 7 out of 10. Had a, some really cool customizations. The secondary color definitely works on the skirts. A bit on the vents too it looks like. Something by the headlights, on the bumpers, and the spoilers, and back here. And the exhaust. That is a pretty fat win for this guy. I really wish more cars would follow in that direction. It's not the best performance car, but it's pretty dang cool. Not sure if it's worth the price. If it's on sale, I'd probably pick it up if you really want it, but that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed or a dislike if you didn't. Let me know what you think of the build and let me know what you think of the car if you own one. And that's about it. I will see you all later.